This video presentation and discussion is to present to you, the viewers, an update number eight on the ongoing construction of the reinforced concrete girder on larger beam flyover bridge in Ekurobia City, Anambra State, Nigeria. Specifically, this current video update is about the construction of the cast in place reinforced concrete end diaphragm beams at the ends of the already fabricated and erected primary or main concrete larger beams or girders. I did not see any intermediate diaphragm beams in between the main larger beams or girders. Maybe the contractor will install them at a later date. Bear in mind that the construction of the reinforced concrete diaphragm beams is to tie and chain the main or primary larger beams or girders together so that all the six larger beams or girders will act together as one unit. And then we have the capacity to withstand the live traffic loads above from the vehicles moving on top of the bridge reinforced concrete deck yet to be installed. And to withstand the lateral loads due to the winds and earthquakes and any other anticipated lateral or twisting load acting on the sides of the bridge. By the way, these diaphragm beams are just like the tie beams that are designed and constructed to chain or tie the columns and masonry and masonry cavity block walls that are used in the construction of the reinforced concrete duplex houses in the southeast and south south regions of Nigeria and beyond. Yes, you can as well call these diaphragm beams tie beams. Now, going over the several steps needed to construct the reinforced concrete diaphragm beams at the ongoing Ekurobia City Concrete Gada Flyover Bridge in Anambra State, Nigeria. Step one is for the iron benders or workers to fabricate and place and tie together the iron rods or the steel reinforcement between the main larger beams or girders and are shown on the construction drawings produced by the responsible structural engineer. Now, looking at the video, you can see the iron benders or the workers installing and tying the iron rods together as designed and shown on the construction drawings or plans that were generated by the responsible engineer, structural engineer in this case. Everything looks good from this angle. It shows that iron rods have been placed and tied at the top, the bottom, and the four sides of the four sides of the proposed reinforced concrete diaphragm beams. Also, it shows bent iron rods or ties linking the top, the bottom, and all sides of the iron rod together and forming a steel reinforcement cage for the diaphragm beams. It is nice to see the contractor utilizing local iron benders to do the work. Step two is for the carpenters and their labor helpers to place the wooden or preformed formwork around the already assembled iron rod cages and as shown on the construction drawings produced by the responsible structural engineer. Now, looking at the video, you can see the carpenters and their labor helpers installing the formworks around the iron rod cages and as designed and shown on the construction drawings or plans that were generated by the responsible structural engineer. From this viewpoint, it appears that everything looks good, if not great. Step three is for the concrete finishers and their labor helpers to press the already mixed concrete into the formwork. Now, looking at the video, you can see the concrete finishers and their labor helpers placing already mixed concrete into the formwork. You can see the concrete trucks are flooding the already mixed concrete into the concrete dump buckets. You can see also the crane or the lifter lifting the concrete dump bucket to the formwork for the concrete finishers and their labor helper to discharge the mixed concrete into the formwork. Again, everything looks good from this angle. Step 4 is for the concrete finishers and their labor helpers to remove the formwork 
after about three years of concrete of the concrete placement. Now, looking at the video, you can see the exposed concrete surface of the completed end diaphragm beams. It appears that the exposed completed diaphragm beams need to be finished and cured with wet burlap or cloths for about seven days or more. Again, everything looks good from this angle. The completed diaphragm beams appear solid and durable. You can see the exposed iron rods on top of the completed diaphragm beams. They are needed to connect or tie the diaphragm beams to the bridge deck slab yet to be placed. This completes the video presentation of update number 8 on the ongoing construction of a Ebuobia flyover bridge in Ebuobia City, Anambra State, Nigeria. Stay tuned for the next update. Now, thanks for watching this video. Please, click the like button and share the video with your friends and relatives. Very important. Also, click the subscribe button. It is free to subscribe. It doesn't cost you anything. Thanks again and bye for now.